Good morning, guys. It is Monday morning. I did not vlog all weekend, and I'm gonna vlog on Friday. I'm gonna vlog since like last week, but I'm vlogging today for a reason. So since I last vlogged, we did go and get um, a brand new freaking bed and bed frame. If you haven't known, we've been sleeping on an air mattress with a bunch of big blankets on it for literally like years, years. Literally, we're doing that since Cora was born. Cora was born, we had gotten a bed, a real one for my, my husband's dad. Uh, his dad. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, but then we had to like give it up unfortunately because of moving and things happening. So anyways, we haven't slept in a real bed in years. So we got a real bed. We already had the mattress in box room. We had to pick it up with the Penske truck. And then the bed frame is getting delivered. The bed frame is getting delivered on um, Wednesday actually. So the day after tomorrow. So that's exciting. So, but the, even without the bed frame, it feels amazing. We sleep like babies now. It's, it's like amazing because the mattress is expensive. The mattress cost us like over like a thousand dollars over a thousand dollars easily and then we also ordered a new tv stand from uh, amazon and we built it when you see it we built that ourselves and it makes the living room look 10 times better we also got an accent table and a couple like small decor things so we like fixed up the apartment so the apartment's looking better i think i'm gonna wait to show you guys when we have the bed frame in and everything's all put together then i'll show you guys the whole apartment all together and then I got my brakes fixed yesterday, which I know it doesn't sound exciting, but I've been procrastinating that for years as well. Like I like we've known the brakes need to be fixed for like two years. And the car was getting to the point of rumbling and like making sounds when it breaks. So we we're like, okay, we're done procrastinating this. Let's get it done. As you can tell, we procrastinate things, especially if they're expensive. Because the brakes cost like six hundred dollars. Um, but the reason I'm vlogging today is because tomorrow I'm getting my top wisdom teeth out and I'm freaking insanely nervous about this because i've been avoiding this also for years like i've known for years i need to get my wisdom teeth out and i've been avoiding it and like saying like, yeah i'll do it another time and like just not wanting to get it done because i've never had any kind of surgery any kind of like operation besides giving birth which is i count because you're not getting put under you're just giving birth but i've never had anything major happen my wisdom tooth are in bad shape because i went to an aspirin dental which is like kind of like a generic dental place and they told me everything was wrong with it so now my mom i wish i was my mom but she knew somebody who could take them out for a good price so i'm getting them taken out tomorrow i'm just scared i just can't wait to get it over with i'm scared of the pain i'm gonna be in i'm scared of going under like i was able to hold my anxiety in all weekend but now today it's out full force and i'm like especially whenever i'm not with greg and whenever i'm at work i don't know why i just tend to have more anxiety in general for some reason so i'm feeling very anxious this morning i don't know if i'm gonna vlog today i just kind of want to vlog the the process of getting it done i probably will vlog again until tomorrow morning when i'm going but I'm freaking nervous, so wish me luck. Good morning, everybody. It is the morning of my wisdom tooth removal surgery. When I woke up, the anxiety hit me like a freaking wall, so I'm nervous. It is eight o'clock, so eight, nine, ten left. So I got three hours. We'll probably leave like half an hour or a little bit more than that before, just so we can stop at the store and then go. I'm anxious. I'm very anxious. I'm nervous, but. It needs to be done. It just looks like they can't take them all out at once because they really don't want to have to go through this again. But at least I'll know what to expect if they're only taking out a couple. It was just you staring at me, listening to you talk. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm just nervous, so I'm like out of character right now because I'm nervous. All right, so we were out and about. I didn't wear makeup today because I figured there's no point since I'm getting like mouth surgery. I'm scared! Well, while getting some cash out. We have to have some breakfast really quick, but we're doing good on timing, so. It's coming up. I'm nervous. Hey, my watch and my outfit unintentionally match. I have arrived. It's time for it to happen. It's waiting for her. My mom's over there somewhere. My mom. Hello, everyone. I got my wisdom teeth out. They put a needle in my mouth. The needle hurt real bad. Oh my God, she's alive. Tasted like terrible. And I still can't feel my mouth for yet. So I'm not in pain yet. But for a few hours, I will be hurting. Hurting bad. I'll survive though. It'll be worth it though, right, Greg? Yes. Exactly. Because it won't be a pain anymore and you got those nasty smelly teeth out. <laughs> exactly. Good morning, guys. It is on to the next day after getting my wisdom teeth removed. Really, all I feel is just like slight sore jaw, and obviously, I'm being very careful with eating and drinking. I'm not really eating, but like I ate eggs uh, to prevent anything from happening. But I feel pretty good. I feel better than I thought I would, but I think it's because I just got them pulled. I didn't get them like cut out, so I think the healing process for them pulled is a lot better. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty fine. I want to show you guys the new additions to our apartment. So this TV stand's a big one, as you can see. It's way nicer than the one we had before. 
um you have decor actually and you can't see them right now because it's not it's not um what how you normally have them you normally will have them like this have them meet in the middle a little bit as you can see we got some new decor items some cute elephants all the decor over here i think we already had I just older decor we moved around but these elephants especially this one is so cute we also got another plant because we just want to add another plant which i thought was cute and then this corner this table is new because the corners are complete don't mind that that's our bed that came in today that we need to build uh the bed frame but this corner was like empty so we added we got this table from target and that salt lamp and then again this is just stuff we had around before besides that thing that's holding the incense that's new we just bought that the other day and this is the bed frame and the other part of the bed frame that we got put together and here is our very nice fancy and very expensive bed the box frame in the bed is tempur-pedic hybrid or something like that i think um and then here's course crib as you notice the difference we took off a size and so now it's like a little toddler bed um, because we figure it's time for her to just kind of transition and it's cheaper to do this than to have to buy a whole toddler bed if you don't need to. So we're going to put the bed together and then we'll see how it all looks after the bed's put together and it's on the bed. My bed, I mean bed frame. Yeah. There's Greg. Putting the dog Huey. I think it's safe to say since it's been over 24 hours since my wisdom tooth surgery that the recovery was pretty wow. easy. Like I said, my mouth is sore and I'm just careful with what I eat to not irritate anything. Um, but it's not as bad as I thought. The, the worst part was definitely the needle. That part was god awful. Worst pain I've ever felt in my life. I feel like I was being murdered, but we made it through. I do have to get my bottom ones out eventually. Not looking forward to that, but at least the pain's quick. <laughs> 